Good morning, happy Funfold Friday, everyone. I've got a really great card for you today. We're going to be using up a lot of leftover paper scraps. I know it's one of your favorite type of tutorials. Okay, so um, like I said, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a fun fold that requires several two and seven eighths inch squares. Okay, so three inch squares, but just a slight smaller than three inches. Welcome, and for those of you who are just joining me for the first time, hello, let us know where you're from. My name's Christina Reese, and I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to share card tutorials with you. I love helping card makers by sharing art design tips and other things while creating cards with you. Lots of tips. Okay. Um, However, before we get started, don't forget we are in Celebration right now. And if you're not familiar with Celebration, it is Stampin' Up's huge, it's an used to be just an annual sale, but this year they've brought it out a second time. This is our second go around. Usually it's in January, but here in August and September, whenever you purchase $50 in product before tax, they're letting you pick a free item from the Celebration brochure. Now, if you do not have a catalog or Celebration brochure, just uh, message me and I'll get that information out to you, okay? Also, we are having a fantastic joining special right now. And uh, people who are join who have joined Stampin' Up! get a continual 20% off all product. And they also have the opportunity, if they choose to do so, to make a little extra income on the side. <sighs> so, what did I say? So today is Funfold Friday, and I'm going to show you how to make this really cool, um, what they call a squash card, okay? A squash card. Now, uh, as I was uh, creating this, and I learned how to make this over on... Um, was it Jackie Bullheist? I think it was Jackie Bullheist. It was either her or Lisa Curcio. I can't remember. One of those two ladies, uh, I saw her. She just this last week showed how to make one. And I thought, oh, that would be a fun thing to show you guys. I did mine just a little different than hers. And I definitely use different paper. I use the Playful Penguins. Oh my gosh, those penguins are so cute. And the Penguin Playmates designer paper is free with that $50 purchase. So let's go on and get started. Let me switch you over to this uh view and get some of this material out. Now, the first thing we're gonna need are three six inch squares, okay, of cardstock. So you have three six inch squares. Now, to uh, score these, it's very simple. You're just gonna score a plus sign, okay, the horizontal and the vertical, and then one diagonal, okay, just one diagonal. You can do that to all three of them. So a plus and then a diagonal and a plus and a diagonal. So that's your scoring of these three pieces. Now, the next thing that you're going to need are 10 two and seven eighths designer series paper. Oops, let me get this white out of here. Because you're also gonna need two whites. And this is what I meant. This is great for if you've got a lot of leftover designer paper. And I have come down to the very end of my uh, Penguin Playmates, and so um, I'm definitely going to have to order me some more of this. So I have 10 of the designer paper. Like I said, this is 2 and 7 eighths, and then I have two white 2 and 7 eighths, okay? So we've got all that cut out. We're also going to need some ribbon. I cut about 20 inches here. This is going to keep our squash uh, card together, all right? Um, the one that I saw had um, like a little corner... Uh, kind of a like a not a paper clip uh, but it was a, a like a paper thing that you stuck on the corner to hold it all together but I like ribbon instead it, it's a more secure and of course you'll need a stamp set and ink and all that fun stuff to decorate it now Greg says yay the penguins are back <laughs> I know Greg loves his penguins I think that's so cool Step number one is, of course, to score all of your cardstock, okay? And these measurements are on my blog, okay? Let me put my blog up there. Just go to creatingwithchristina.com, and today's blog post, as soon as I get it up there, it will have all these measurements for you. We are going to, let me move all this out of the way so I don't get anything messed up. And we are going to put these three things together. Now, you want a super strong adhesive. You can either use the tear and tape, the uh, stamp and seal plus, or what I like to use, liquid glue. Now, 
these diagonal folds, okay, when you uh, go to fold the cards on the, on the score lines, you're going to fold it back on the diagonal, but then you're going to fold it forward on the plus, okay? So backwards on the diagonal, then forward on the plus lines, okay? You're going to do that to all three. So backwards, one more time, forwards, and then forwards. You have three of these. The diagonal part, see how it's kind of popping up in front of me here? My middle one, I need it to go the other direction. I need it to pop backwards, all right? So these two on the right and the left, the diagonal part is gonna pop forward and the one in the middle is gonna pop backwards. Got it? Now let's, and we're gonna attach it in the squares right here. So I'm just gonna put some glue there. Put that in there. Just tuck it right in where it goes and hold it for a minute. Let it get nice and set. Okay. And you can kind of see how it is. This is coming forward and this diagonal is going backwards. Okay. And now let's get this one glued together. Come here. And it really doesn't matter which, if you, what side you glue the squares together. Um, that part doesn't matter. Whoops, but be careful that you do get it nice and lined up. You don't want the edges of one square to mess up the folds of the other square. All right, let it just sit there for a minute. So that part was pretty simple. Just, and that's, that's the basis of the squash card. And so then it just naturally folds together and these go back and these come forward, okay? And there's our little squash book, our squash card. <laughs> and it pops back open. All right, now let's decorate this. Here we go. Good morning, let's see. Um, John and Kathy Dewar, and I'm, I don't know. So you have Kathy in parentheses, hello Kathy, <laughs> welcome. Let's get these squares. So this next step, we're gonna attach the far right and the far left square first. Let me pull them all up here so I have them all together. So what I mean by that is this far uh, right and this far left, okay? We're going to, matter of fact, I need to kind of zoom out a little bit. Nope, I always go the wrong way. There we go. Zoom out just a wee bit more. I don't want y'all to see my messy desk, but you need to be able to see this whole thing as I put it together. And I'm using the stripes on the far right and left. And now I can make both of my stripes going in the same direction, or I could rotate this one and have them both coming in like this, which is what I'm going to do. And tape or glue. I just, I do glue. It's a little quicker, that's all. Um, but either one will be fine. And... So we're just uh, decorating our squash card here. All right, got that one in. And then this one. And there we go. Now, where the diagonal folds are, we're gonna need to um, cut those squares on the diagonal so that they can not be obstructed by the fold. So right here on these diagonal fold parts, we're going to cut our squares in half on the diagonal and place the two triangles on each side. Uh, save your two white squares and save two more squares uh, for the outside. So I'm saving these pretty um, just jade ones for the outside. You don't want to cut those. So that leaves me with three more, these six, uh, papers and I'm gonna cut these all in half. So I need my paper trimmer. Oops, get my glue out of the way. And get my paper trimmer. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And really quickly, oops, there we go. Mary, you're not late, I'm just getting started, okay. 
Um, I've put the base together, but you can always go back and see that. I have it all on my blog. Uh, you'll have all the measurements and everything over on my blog, Creating with Christina. What I'm doing now is uh, I'm cutting up these five, uh, I'm sorry, these six squares, and I'm cutting them on the diagonal. Oops, there we go. I probably could do two at a time. Let's see. Well, I don't want to mess up. <laughs> now, when you have a stripe, you need to decide. Do you want your diagonal to be this way? And so you have stripes like that or do you want to cut it this way um, where you have stripes going this way so you either have them going this way or this way and I believe I had decided to do it this way I thought this would look nice and you could, or you could do both of them that way it doesn't matter and there we go and you can mix them up you don't have to put both of the uh, same triangles next to each other you could put you can mix up the patterns that's fun and uh, I'll be doing that on some of them oh you're welcome Mary yes um, I always put my fun folds on my blog because they're the most complicated my Monday and Wednesday cards I do not um, I just they're they're simple enough to where if you just listen you'll get the idea or just even just look at the card and you can figure out how to do it. But my Fridays, I definitely have write it up because fun folds can be kind of complicated. All right. And so now we have all our triangles. Let me get this out of the way and bring back in my squash card here. Oops. And how did I have? Now I have to remember how I did this. Okay, I know that I put my pretty purple ones here in the middle. So. Um, oops, come on. There we go. Another reason I like liquid glue is because I can kind of move it around a little bit before it sets permanently. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, let me, uh, remind you this paper that I'm using right here you cannot purchase okay this is um, only available when you purchase fifty dollars and then choose it as your free celebration item okay and if you're not familiar with celebration it is our used to be annual sale but now it is uh, we brought it back for a second time here in August and September um, There are quite a few beautiful celebration items for free. Most of them are for a $50 purchase, but there are a couple in there that you have to do a $100 purchase to get. Um, the flower dies and the Dahlia uh, flower stamp. And they're just, it's just because obviously they, they're more expensive items. Uh, so to get them free, you gotta buy a little more, that's all. But it's not unreasonable. Uh, you know, fifty dollars to get a free item. That's, and these items are are nice items. They're not like you're not like just getting a couple pieces of paper. You're getting an entire pack of paper. Okay, now that I've got this part, these two here we're gonna keep white. All right, these are for the sentiment and for you to sign your card. Whoops, come here. Okay, so these two white ones are gonna go here. But I'm not gonna uh, adhere these yet. I'm going to uh, stamp them and everything first. So I put those to the side. So that leaves these uh, two, these four, I'm sorry, uh, ones that are on the thing. And I said that I was gonna mix up the paper, which I am, so I think. I'm gonna look at it first. Let's look at it first. So if I put Okay, the trees, okay, you kind of have to be careful with the trees because you don't want them upside down. So I think that, yeah, that goes there and that goes there. Okay. Um, so if I switch out, like if I do, yeah, if I switch out, my trees are going to go upside down because this will have to go here and my trees would be upside down, which I guess really isn't that, well, no, the, no I'm sorry, no, they don't, duh you want to go diagonal there we oh this is gonna look cute okay here we go that one and come here come here <laughs> and that one so we can do that 
All right, I like that. It kind of gives you a little more visual on your eye. I like it, I like it. Okay. So this is the fun part. Like I said, this is a fun card to put together, especially if you have a lot of leftover, large enough, it's gotta be, your scraps have to be at least uh, three inch squares because these are two and seven eighths, which is just a scant smaller than three inches. Um, but if you have a lot of paper like that, this is great to use up all that leftover paper, okay? Alrighty, and then we're just gonna put that right in there. And don't you love these color combination, this color combination, the fresh freesia, um, the beautiful sea, uh, moss sea foam, the misty moonlight, so pretty. Just jade, love it. Okay. Hello, Leanne. She says, good morning. And Mary says she loves this paper. Hannah says, hello. And Hilda Nell. Good morning, all you guys. Yep. This one is just taking a little bit putting all these triangles on here, but that's okay. Let's see. What else? Um, I also want to remind you that we are having the amazing joining special right now. So um, when you join Stampin' Up, the biggest benefit you get is you get 20% off all product all the time, uh, as long as you stay qualified. And staying qualified is very simple. You just, okay, wait a minute, sorry, I'm gonna switch this around. Yeah, so I have the trees on this side. I'm moving the trees over, oops, my picture's in the way. Sorry about that, you guys. Picture, moving it over here, okay. Um, anyways, back to the joining special. So, um, for $99, you get to pick anything you want out of the catalog up to $125, okay? So uh, that's the first part of it. The second part of it is they throw in a free paper pumpkin kit, which those are, 20, uh, what, those are $22. Then they throw in free shipping, okay? Which on $100, that's a $10 shipping for, uh, that you're getting free. Well, the, that's the regular joining, uh, which is a special in itself. But during this celebration, they are adding on a free bundle. And bundles can be up to 50, almost $60, some of them. And there are 12 that they've given you an option to choose to pick free in your starter kit. Awesome. And then, of course, you get me and the Reese's Paper Pieces. We are so much fun. We uh, get together once a month on Zoom and stamp together. We do like a mystery stamping together. Um, I also give you trainings on how to improve your, um, your business, if that's something you want to do. Or um, if you're just in it for the hobby, I also allow you to have all of my card tutorials free. So at the, um, whenever I do a card class by mail, um, I send the tutorial to all my team members. And that, you are free to use that for your own class or just to do, with your, do for yourself. Of course, you order your own product because you are your own demonstrator now when you join the team. You wouldn't purchase from me anymore. Um, you would purchase from yourself, but I'm still your, um, what we call upline, and I'm the one you would go to for everything. All right. Have we put all this together? I've rambled on enough about joining Stampin' Up. I mean, it really is an amazing thing to do. But we are ready to put our squash card together with the white here in the middle. Now, let me fold it up again. Remember, these two uh, diagonals fold in, okay? And these fold up towards you like that. And then these in the back go down. And it goes together like that. So that is what a squash card does. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And I love all the colors of this paper. Woo! All right, um, our white squares. Okay, so we're gonna put our white squares right here. Now, this one, I'm gonna decorate real fancy, okay? I'm gonna get out some masking uh, technique here. So, I know that my white is gonna be in a, a tr uh, diamond shape. And I'm going to put the little penguin. So this is the penguin place stamp set. And I love this little guy. He's going to go sledding down, sliding down the hill here. And he's also got a little balloon. We're going to use that. Now, what I'm doing is I want to use my blender brush here and get a sky back here. But I don't want my penguin 
to be covered up by the sky. So I need to hide my penguin with a mask. And this is Gina K uh, Magic Masking, Ma Masking Magic, I'm sorry. And it is awesome. Basically what it is, is it is uh, uh, the stickiness that's on like a post-it note, that real light, light tack is on this. And you just, it's just white sheets. You just stamp on it, cut it out, and then you peel off the back. Okay, so let me peel off the back here. I gotta you see where the, um, well, there should be like a little seam, but I'm not seeing it in the glare, so I'll just bend back a corner here. There you go, because you gotta peel off this section. Okay, come on. <laughs> All right, come on, there we go. All right, starting to separate now. Of course, my fingernails the problem with fake fingernails is they're kind of thick, and so you can't get in between thin layers like this. So you need, like, a pair of tweezers or something to help you. Come on. And, of course, my eyesight, you know, I have to wear glasses, so can't see very well. There we go. Come on. Well, it's just being ornery this morning. Just being ornery. There we go. Yeah, if you, if you curl it enough, it eventually will separate. And, and like I said, it's just a super light tack. It hardly sticks at all. Now, I need the edge of my snow, come here, to be there. And the other edge of my snow, there we go, because I don't want to have a funny part of my snow bank. All right, so now that I have put my penguin on here, and be careful, this part, you don't want your ink to get there because that's supposed to be white snow. So just be real careful um, to not let that get in there. All right, I need my blender brush. Here's my blender brush. And I need my Misty Moonlight ink. And we are going to get a very light dusting of sky back behind. Now, see how I had to rub that off first? Look how dark that is. I do not want dark sky. I want a very light sky. All right, so then I just, like I said, be real careful down here. I don't want any blue down there. All right, I think we did it. I mean, a very light sky. And now the magic happens. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love magic, masking magic. It's the best. And if you ever want, uh, I have a link to my Amazon shop um, under must have tools on my blog. So if you're looking for masking magic, I have a link to it and you can get it there. All right, now my penguin. So I have them all put on the acrylic blocks. I need my black for his little body. Okay, and... Um, so I need to make sure, and I'm having to lean over, and I'm so sorry that my head is in the way, but um, I need to make sure my penguin is in the sky here, okay? It's not in the sky, I mean. I hope I did this right. This is really hard to see. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so there's the little penguin, and now we need his little beak and his hat. So here's his little beak. And the beak I just do in pumpkin pie, just orange, a little orange beak. There we go, and we're just gonna put that right on there. And his little hat I'm gonna do with the fresh freesia. Um, there we go. Perfect. All right, so our little penguin now is sliding in the snow, but that's not it. He's got a little balloon in his hands. I love this. Um, I don't know how many of you have the balloon bouquet punch. This is, this is 
I would, as long as I've been in stamp, I've been stamping up for four years now, and this was one of the very first items I purchased, and it is still available, and it's a great punch for this stamp set. Um, I've already stamped my little balloon and punched it out. There it is. Wow, look at all that ink. I do not want that on my card. Holy cow. <laughs> Glad I saw it before I started moving. Not really sure. I must have got it off the misty moonlight when I picked it up. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Mary Ann says, exactly, I have fake fingernails too. Yes. <laughs> Michelle says, that penguin is insanely cute. Yes, he is insanely cute. There we go. All right, I got the ink off of my fingers. Whew. Definitely always want yourself some wipes when you're inking, <laughs> just in case you have that little accident like I had. All right, now, uh, so here's his little balloon, and he's got a string. Where did I put the string? Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to take the string out. Yep, I did. Or you could just take a marker and do the string, but... Um, Oh, his little string holding his balloon. Mm -hmm. Let's get a decent this block. Yeah, there we go. All right. And actually, you know what? I, another wonderful thing about poly uh, photopolymer stamps is they can bend. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so now it's like the, the little guy is... Um, sledding but it's pulling the the balloon back behind him not too much let's not bend him that much just a little bit yeah that'll work perfect and well i'm going to put him on the card because the string is going to go up into the other square all right so let me get him down here and he's going right here all right and my little balloon Let's see. Oh, the balloon cannot go across that thing. The balloon's gonna have to go up here. So hopefully this works. Where did my string go? I may have to do this with a marker. I didn't quite judge this out. All right, oh no, I won't. Okay, so yeah, my balloon's gonna go way up here. See how that works? <laughs> so cute. All right, so let's glue this guy down. sure our little penguins going the right way there we go and now let's get some black ink here okay our like I said our balloon has to not cross the the folds so that should work perfect okay and now one thing I'm not using dimensionals because this is already kind of thick now you can mail this card however it is a funky shape so it will cost extra postage just remember that. Okay. All right. Now our little penguin guy has his balloon. He's sailing down this, down the ski slope or the hillside. <sighs> Let's get this one over here. This one we're gonna put happy birthday and some snowflakes. So let me get my happy birthday out. Happy birthday. And we'll just put this up here. We want lots of room to sign our card. And let's do some snowflakes. Oops. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ah, eh, one more. 
Okay. You know what else? I think I would like some snowflakes here on the sky. By our cute little penguin. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Except I need more snowflakes over here now. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm getting carried away with my snowflakes. There we go. All right. Are y'all having fun watching this? <laughs> Whoa, 30 minutes. Eeks, and we haven't even put the front on yet. Oh, I got to go a little faster. Okay, a little faster. Okay. So the inside of our smash card, squash card, I'm sorry, our squash card is done. All right. So you have plenty of room to sign it. Um, add a little note if you want. Put it all together. Just squish it all together. Like I said, it's called a squash card for a reason. And now we just need to decorate the front and use a ribbon to tie it together, okay? Let me put this away. And the first thing you want to do is secure this ribbon on here, okay? And the easiest way to do that, first of all, let's get it even. So I'm holding on to both ends of my ribbon, right? So I have both ends and it's even. And... We're just gonna have it go right across the center and we only wanna attach it to the top of our card, okay? Make sure that's the top, yeah, it is. All right, and, I, and um, I'm gonna, what well, before I put tape on there, I'm gonna like mark my ribbon by just holding it with that stand. I know that's the edge of the ribbon I want and I need my adhesive tape. The best way to adhere ribbon onto cardstock is with a tape runner and I'm just gonna go right across the center I can get it going. There we go. Okay. And now. And just go right across like that. All right. And that's the only place you need the ribbon to hold, okay? You don't want to attach it to the back or you won't be able to open it, all right? But it definitely has plenty now to tie a bow. So we're going to do it like that. And there's plenty there. I said 20 inches because you need plenty of ribbon to uh, hold on to while you're trying to tie this bow. Okay, there we go. And so that keeps it closed. All right, let's finish decorating the front of this. We need our, um, the Just Jade pieces. Where's my glue? Now the back, you do not want the ribbon in the way. So to put it on the back, you're gonna need to undo your ribbon. But before I do, let me finish doing the front here. So um, I cut out some pieces here. Another reason I love this paper is because it has a lot of the critters you can just hand cut. They're so cute. Um, this is um, some more of this DSP. And I cut this. Um, smaller so this is a two and seven eighths this is a one and a half and it just i turned it on the diamond so it's like that okay i'm going to actually move it over a little bit because i'm going to put this piece right here I, these are just little scraps and i've just trimmed them so that they fit nothing real special nothing specific okay there we go and now our little guy, now you could put him up on dimensionals. He would be fine to be put up on dimensionals because he's not on the inside. Um, if I can find my dimensionals, those are my minis, oh, my regulars, there we go. So, there we go. Exactly, Mary, that is the best part of these kind of things um, that I try making for you guys is yeah this is this is for your leftover paper stash go go hunting through your paper stash your uh, leftover pieces and get out a bunch that kind of coordinates and make a real unique one i can't wait to see what you guys create because i know y'all love um making them and then posting them on our our uh, our group board so uh Chris, christina's creative stampers that is the um 
our private group board, you can post it there, or you can post it here on Creating with Christina, either one. Uh, just remember, Creating with Christina is public. Um, anyone in the world can see, but uh, Christina's Creative Stampers is private and only members of our group. And you have to answer questions to be able to uh, get in. I've got to kind of know who you are. I don't want any spammers or crazy people in this group. So I do have a couple questions for you before you uh, join, but. Okay, I'm looking for my scissors. Almost done, almost done, you guys. I know, like I said, I've been on here 35 minutes. Good grief. I want to trim this down to as close to the wording as I can get. Okay, and I'm just. Whoops. That way it doesn't cover up too much of the card front. It's a pretty long sentiment, so there we go. And I just used the, and it's nice block lettering, so it's pretty easy. And we're just gonna put to the coolest friend ever right across there, okay? And then you open it up and it says happy birthday. Okay, to the coolest friend ever. And remember the back, you don't want the ribbon in the way. So let's turn it over to the back here. And we need to put this piece on. Come here. Let's see, I wanna go this way. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter, but, oops. And you didn't even really have to put a piece back here, but you know how I am. I gotta, I gotta decorate everything. So there we go. So you tie it shut to the coolest friend ever, and they open it up, and it says, happy birthday. Yay! Oh my gosh, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me for a whole half hour this morning, this Friday, beautiful Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed weekend. And don't forget, uh, Creating with Christina, that's where all the measurements are, and um, the written instructions. Share it with your friends. Um, what does Michelle have here? I heard it from Sharon Armstrong. Type in a Facebook search. It's an online craft day for, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so my up, up, up line, three times, uh, they are doing a creative uh, weekend thing. So yeah, check out Sharon Armstrong and uh, it's pretty awesome. They're doing all kinds of stuff over there. Awesome, well, I love it. Can't wait to see what y'all come up with. Don't forget, celebration and our joining special. Bye-bye. <laughs>